Miss Erica here, and I've got Jesse, and we're here to teach you a little bit about trusting God tonight. Um, we have a few household items that most all of y'all probably have in your house. We've got some oil over here, and Jesse, what does our oil represent tonight? Worry. Worry. Good job. And we've also got trust over here. I don't know if y'all can see that, but this is our trust over here. It's just plain water. We are going to add some food coloring into our trust water it's so y'all can see it a little bit. Yes, Jesse picked the color. It's red. We may have to like swirl it around, Jesse. I didn't think about that. Make the student girl quick or something. Swirl it around. Alright, let's swirl. Actually, it did pretty good. We're going to make sure it's evenly mixed since we're talking it's about mixing. Orange. I like it. It's pretty. Okay. So, we've got our worry, that's oil, we've got our trust, that's water, but let's back it up a second. So, what does it mean to worry? It means be afraid. Yeah, it does. It means to be afraid, not knowing what's going to come next, right? So, and we also get concerned with that. So, what about trust? What do you think trust means? Sort of like the opposite of worry, like not, not worrying not about what worry. happens because who is in control? God is in control always, right? So, water represents trusting God. Oil represents the worry. So, trusting God remembers that he's always in control. And he's always going to be number one. And we just need to put all faith in him. Now, so what does he want us to do? Worry or believe in him and trust in him? Trust in him. Very good. So, we're actually going to demonstrate this and show you guys that a heart full of worry cannot fully trust God. So, Jesse is going to take our worry box, and I'm going to take mm -hmm. our trust, and we're going to pour them in and see if a worrying heart and a trusting heart can truly mix. Ready? Oh, it sort of does look like it's missing. All right. I don't know. Now we sit and we wait. Ooh, that's pretty. It is pretty, but... It has bubbles in it. It does have bubbles. We're going to slide it closer to you guys, hold it up so y'all can see. What do you think? Did they mix together evenly? What do you think, Jesse? No. It didn't mix together evenly, right? Right. So, God says that if we have a full trusting heart, it will not mix with worry. So, that's why it's important, guys, to not worry with everything that's going on. Just trust God, pray to God. And Miss Erica actually picked a cool Bible verse to go along with this experiment. And Jesse has brought her Bible. And the same thing goes for last week. If you guys will send me a picture or have your parents send me a picture of you and your Bible or post it on Facebook or however you want to get it to me, I do have stacks of Bible prizes at the church waiting. And I'm keeping a tally. And you will get a Bible prize for each picture each week that you show me a picture of your Bible. So Jesse gets on tonight. So round of applause for Jesse. All right. And the Bible verse tonight for everyone is Psalm 62. Six through eight. And I'm going to read it to you guys, but I do want y'all to look it up later, okay? It says, Truly, he is my rock and salvation. He is my fortress. I will not be shaken. My salvation and my honor depend on God. He is my mighty rock, my refuge. This is the important part, guys. Trust him at all times, you people. He's talking to us. And our hearts to him. Pour out your heart to him. For he is a God of refuge. He is sovereign. He loves us. And he does not want us to worry. Correct, Jesse? Correct. All right. Well, we'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching.